Hello all, welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to see data tab option in Excel. Hello all, welcome back to Microsoft Excel training session six. So in previous parts, we have seen uh, different tabs in Microsoft Excel uh, worksheet or Microsoft Excel workbook. In this part, we are going to see data tab option in Excel. So myself Omka this side. So uh, what all topics we are going to cover in this particular topic is so to get the get and transform the data connections, sort and filters, data tools, grouping and ungrouping. So uh, this get and transform the data connections, sort and filters and this grouping and ungrouping is, is quite a vast topics. We are going to cover these topics in detail in the upcoming sections. So Let's get back to the Excel. Again, uh, as we have said, we'll be using the same sheet for the for all the tabs. Uh, we have the same. Uh, we have the sheet in which we have seen it for the Home tab, for the Insert tab, for Page Layout, and for the Formula tab as well. We are going to add a new sheet for our Data tab. So, navigating to Data tab. So here you can see we have different options or we have different sections like Get and Transform, the Connections sort and filter data tools forecast and outline so let's start with the external data or the gate and transform so this particular data type or this particular section is being used to get the data from external sources like web any external file uh, be it text csv or or anything so if you wish to get the data or the exact data from from outside you can use this particular thing this get and transform we have an option called as new query so excel supports something called as power query so power query is a tool which is uh, or power query is a utility which has been provided by microsoft uh, office for uh, playing with some high end uh, calculations so just to give you an example the calculations like uh, the share market stocks so those are uh, those are very pretty uh, complicated calculations for for a layman so those all calculations can be played around uh, those power queries you can so that's not the only purpose of uh, power query you can use those use this power query in your uh, day to day life as well so for uh, for some other applications so this is about this get and transform we'll we'll be we are will be going to discuss this get and transform and collect connections together in the in the 24th video of this particular series next is sort and filter so this particular thing or this particular uh, uh, section is being used over over a table over a, or over a large set of data uh, to to get the desired amount of uh, thing or to get the desirable desired data in a quick format so as as a, as the name says if we wish to filter out some data or if we wish to sort the data numerically alphabetically up, uh, ascending descending order so whichever you want it so it is it is being done through this particular uh, this particular thing or this particular section so we have a we have a separate uh, separate video for this particular uh, uh, this particular section as well next we have as data tools so uh, uh, so the options we have it here are like text to columns. So similarly, like uh, we have uh, as as the name says here. So whatever we have it in a in a single text, we can copy it to point to or we can split it into a multiple columns. Next is uh, so this flash fill is is not 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 being used or is is not required as of now. We'll cover this topic in in some uh, other sections. Removing duplicates. So we'll cover this remove duplicates section in this sort and filter. So I'll just tell you why, uh, where it is used. It is used to remove dupl duplicate from the cells. So if uh, if you wish, if you have a if you have a range of data, wherein if you wish to say uh, you wish to know only the data which is being used or which is not repeated in that particular cell. In that particular thing, you can use this uh, remove and uh, remove duplicates. Next, we have it as data validation. So this is to use uh, or to enter a uh, add a new drop down field uh, for a selection of that particular cell. We have a different section for this as well uh, in the upcoming series. Uh, next, we have it as consolidate and manage model data. So this all will be covered in in the in the upcoming sections. 
next is this forecast which says what if analysis so this particular thing considers a scenario so uh, say for example if we have a data in in one cell and that data uh, it uh, that uh, that value contains one uh, one digit or one or one random value if that random value proceed, uh, exceeds a limit then what to do so it's 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 about a scenario so it creates a scenario uh, depending on whatever we have coded in this particular thing so we'll cover this particular thing uh, in in the last section i believe like in the connections and uh, the the external data thing and yeah the grouping and ungrouping and the subtotal the outline part so we have a separate video for this as well the grouping and ungrouping i'll just tell you where it is used so this grouping ungrouping is is being used for a for a large large number of data where we are using say uh, we have a medical uh, medical shop and uh, if we wish to group the all sort of all similar sort of uh, uh, medicines which is developed by a single company if you wish to group it uh, at a single place you can do it easily uh, with the help of this grouping and ungrouping that's just a, just a small example uh, this grouping and ungrouping can be used at a vast level so we'll we'll cover this topic uh, in the upcoming sections so that's all we have for uh, the data tab option in excel so in the upcoming section we'll going to see uh, the review tab option in excel thank you